What an absolutely mental few days. Give me the dust of my father. Stand on the face of the ancient. So, I've got a few things to discuss with you when I get out of this car park. When I get out of KFC car park, because I've just been through a KFC. First KFC in about three months. Okay, first off, I've just reached 8,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you lot enough. I'm putting you properly. I cannot thank you lot enough. 8,000 subscribers is mental for me. Like. Oh, Jesus Christ, never expected that. I remember reaching a thousand subscribers and thinking that that was a, a, a lot. And now I've got 8,000. Ow. So, I mean, I guess now I'm, um, I guess now I'm on, I'm on the, I'm on the, the, the sort of downhill to uh, 10,000, which is crazy 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 anyway thank you to all of you i say this more or less every video but thank you so much for the support i could not i could not do this without you and i'd probably be dead without this youtube channel and without you a lot supporting me because the the, 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 the sort of mental support that you've given me has been uh, 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 it's been priceless you know um okay now that's out of the way the second thing is, I just wanted to quickly say that if you go on my website, coffee's all readily available, all types, uh, and also the face masks, which I've not got one here while I'm driving, the face masks are available, and they're limited numbers as well. They cost me way more than I expected to have made, uh, so if you could buy them, <laughs> I should be really grateful. Right, so then, back to the uh, police council park ranger moving on saga so since the video last night where uh, i showed the police i didn't add any uh, talking to it because it was long enough as it was and i wanted you to just more or less see the raw the raw footage um but essentially uh everybody that i've been camped with for the last month bar one left uh, because they didn't want the police to come back and cause any trouble so uh, but I was a bit more determined and decided to stay and I emptied my memory card I charged my camera up and just sat on my roof most of the day waiting for the police to come back and surprise surprise they didn't come back so stayed there last night in the same place yesterday evening uh, as some of you may have seen on Instagram and Facebook, yesterday evening I was alerted to a Facebook post on a uh, on a on a group, which was from the MP stroke the councillor, which reported us, and he was saying, essentially, everybody should contact the police and report these van people in the car park, and people were being horrible about us. Uh, saying that they were going to do things, this and that and the other, uh, just calling names and all that, being horrible about us. People really like watching us, oh I've just driven past and they're still there and all this kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, I joined that group and uh, replied to every comment, explained who we are, why we're there, uh, explained that everything we're doing is legal and, and above board. Uh, I called out the councillor and said that what you've done is very irresponsible, it's uh, promoting vigilantes, uh, it's painting us in a bad light when there's no need to, uh, and eventually he responded and completely backed down and sort of said the opposite, and he was saying that the police had informed him that we're there legally and there's nothing they can do about it, because we're not doing anything wrong, uh, so basically just that he was going to leave us alone but what he should have done is clarified that to everybody else who was responding with hate comments saying you know this is the this is the situation but he didn't do that so then i got a private message from him and i had an exchange with him and honestly like i don't get aggressive i don't get 
uh, upset with people. But I gave him what for, and I told him that he needs to be careful what he puts online about people, because I might not have been nice. I might not have been calm. I might not have been laid back. I could have been aggressive. I could have been um, somebody that wanted to hurt him or something. And, and, and he's like, you know, he's a counselor. You know, if you Google his name, the first thing that comes up is his house address and his phone number. And I showed it to him. I said, look, I could just come park outside your house. How, how, how would you feel about that? Anyway, I tried to play it down. Um, I'm really annoyed because he was a Labour councillor as well. And uh, Labour's policy on, on, on van dwellers and travellers and people living alternative lifestyles is spot on. Uh, it's the Tory government that are trying to ban it. And, uh, and he represents Labour who are meant to understand it. And then when you scroll through his Facebook posts, he's talking about respecting different communities and all this kind of stuff, but then not practicing what he's preaching. And I kind of felt a little bit like it might have been a popularity thing, like some people may have complained, so then he's tried to look good by trying to do something about it. Anyway, like I said, we've had an exchange. Uh, he, he's the one that's had to back down, really, because he's in the wrong. Uh, he kind of has apologised. And we'll leave it at that. So anyway, this morning... Uh, I didn't sleep too well last night because I was worried about vigilantes and stuff. But uh, nothing happened. This morning woke up, decided to leave anyway. Uh, I had some things to do in Sheffield. Uh, and then I'm going to go down to Stoke for a few days to see about work again. Um, and have some time away from the group actually because, as a lot of you have pointed out, it's the group that is causing the problem. A group of vans together are always going to look bad. But what you've got to understand is that the reason why we were a group, anybody that doesn't already know this, the reason why we were a group was because of the vigilantes. We, 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 we decided that safety in numbers was the best option. Um, I, I, some of the people in our group have been parked on their own at the beginning of lockdown and had things thrown at the vans and uh, had death threats and all kinds of stuff. Project Amber was with us the other day and he was talking about people throwing bags of rubbish at his van. And that's, that was only a few days ago. So you've got to understand that whilst it does look bad traveling as a group, the amount of hate that we've had meant that we had to do that. So <laughs> the group has moved on and they found another place to go. Um, I'm not gonna join that group for a little while, for. A, maybe the next week uh, I'm going to spend some time on my own uh, living normal van life wh wh how I, how I, however I can I do miss that the group's been brilliant and I love them all dearly and, and they all know that I do but I think that where, wherever we're in a group we're going to get moved on now and I think that because we're in a bit of a grey area with lockdown people don't know whether we are locked down or not and even the police said you know you can travel now you can travel well I'm going to take that as we're back to normal van life. Whether the general public see it like that, whether I'll get any hassle or not, I don't know. But for the time being, back to normal van life where possible. So I'm going to keep you updated on that. Um, where I can. I'm going to be staying in some different places. I have got loads of stuff that I need to do. And whilst I've been in this group of people, as lovely as they are, productivity has been low <laughs> we've been having such a good time um, hanging around together doing different activities uh, that I've not done anything that I need to do so I'm back on it trying to be productive for, for the next few days um, and yeah we'll see how things go uh, I want to thank everybody for the support in that as well uh, since I made the trolling video and then last night's video, <laughs> the blue and red heart thing, for those that don't know, uh, we'd made a hashtag which was um, van life, uh, support van life, hashtag, hashtag support van life. If you want to use that hashtag or search it out, do that. But also, uh, we are now commenting blue and red hearts on everything to, to on our favourite van life and channels. 
on Instagrams, on Facebooks. It's now become a symbol of solidarity with us band people. So check that out, have a look at it, um, and join in right now. It, it, it isn't getting any, any easier for van life as with the lockdown. It's probably getting a bit harder now because there's so many grey areas. So everybody could do with a bit more support. Um, I know that Martin's channel's back up now uh, for the most part. Uh, so I'm glad that we've managed to get him back. Hopefully some others will follow. Uh, and hopefully we can restore some normality as soon as possible. Anyway. I'm going to head off. Again, thank you for the 8,000 followers uh, on Instagram. Uh, absolutely, it's, what am I talking about? 8,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's incredible. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, you should subscribe if you, if you could. And also sharing these videos on Facebook and all that kind of stuff helps massively. So hopefully, when I check the comments on this video, I'll see a sea of blue and red hearts. Uh, and that'll be brilliant. Anyway, see you soon. Bye, Felicia.